Hi guys, so this is a review on Winter Girls by Lori Hulst Anderson. As the title says, this is a must read for young adult lovers. I read this in one sitting last night. <clears throat> it went really fast. This book is completely, I think, um, different than what my first in thoughts were on it. The writing style is very unique and um, I was just really fascinated by the way the story took place, how she wrote it, the things that were going on in this girl's head and how she portrayed it, the very serious issues that were involved in the book with the main characters, how she presented them. Um, the dialogue was very realistic to someone that has, you know, I, as I said before, the girl struggles from extreme anorexia. Her best friend dies, and this is the story of pretty much um, about two weeks, the two week period after her friend dies. And um, maybe a little bit longer, I think it's about two weeks. Um, not only does she go through the grieving process, but she also goes through the what goes on in the mind of someone that has an eating disorder. What goes on for the family and the, f and the loved ones of the people that experience the eating disorder in their family. Um, what the eating disorder does to her mentally. And how professionals, because she does talk to a counselor, how professionals deal with it. And in a way, I feel like anyone that either is struggling with ease or knows someone or something can learn something from this book, even though it is fictional. Um, the writing style is so, I wanted to read every word. It wasn't like one of those simple, mindless young adult books with this very basic vocabulary. The way she wrote this, she wrote the, the sentence, like as a writer, I, I really evaluate writing style. Um, so the variety of the sentence lengths and um, the use of punctuation and stuff, when you're reading it, and I know when I read, I kind of am mentally reading in my head. Um, it, it read as if I was the character. Um, I'm just really floored by this book. I haven't read a book that really affected me um, like this in a really long time. It actually is like kind of making me tear up a little bit because you are get so invested in this character that you want the best for her. And... Um, it's, it's really overwhelming to me, maybe because I've experienced eating disorders in my life. Um, and this book really, really touched me. Um, so I really, really, sorry, my nose, my allergies. Um, I really, really recommend that you guys read this book. Um, not only because the cover is beautiful. God, look at the cover. And you'll understand the Winter Girls context. It isn't very obvious. A lot of um, titles are very obvious. This you kind of have to read it, and you'll understand where it comes from. Um, I'm just floor, I'm just really floored by this book. I almost really want to just write a very basic email to the author on her site and just tell her how um, touched I am by her writing. Um, it, it, it's just amazing. This book was just amazing, and it and it is very dark. If you don't like books that are dark, don't read this because it it is kind of depressing and. The girl does go through very hard mental things. Um, it is strange at parts because you're living as the character and she sees things and I think it's very real when you're grieving and you don't want to deal with something. Your mind, it's crazy what your mind can do. Um, so this book isn't very long. Let me see here. It is 278. And it says in here, she says, I journeyed into the land of the winter girls because of the countless readers who wrote and talked to me about their struggles with eating disorder, cutting, and feeling lost. Their courage and honesty put me on the path to find Leah and helped me understand her brokenness. While Leah's story is not based on any living person, it was inspired by those readers, and I thank them. Um, she just says that... Um, she, uh, it says right here that she interviewed pediatricians and psychotherapists to um, properly make sure it says that Leah's physical and psychological deterioration were accurately described. Um, writing books like this often takes an author to that liminal place between reality and imagination. That's why we need practical people who are firmly grounded in the real world.
So I didn't read that until this part, and that just kind of proves to me even more that, that not only is this person an amazing writer, but she's an amazing person because she chose to write something that could really affect her audience. Um, and an element, you know, in young adult books and just in general in fiction world, you really, most writers just write to write. And this seems like she had a hidden agenda to help people, and uh, that's really admirable to me. So, okay, I'm off my little high horse and, and everything. This is her, by the way. I just want to show you. She looks like she could be, like, one of my friend's mothers. <laughs> um, but please do check this out. And if you do, please message me, comment, or let me know what you think about it. I really am um, just such a fan of this book now. Honestly, it's on my favorite books list now, and I, I have very few books that I can say are my favorite book, less than five, so um, it, this book is amazing. So do do yourself a favor and read this book and, and learn something about yourself, all right? Bye.